I got a story I really want to tell. My relationship with the guitar actually started uh, as a three or four year old. I saw, uh, I think, a baritone ukulele in the uh, storeroom of my house uh, where we lived in the furnace room or something and it looked like a magical thing and I saw a guitar years later when I was maybe 12 in a case and it was just, it had this, it was like glowing with this magic. And it, uh, I, I actually it was like a reverent thing and I, I actually just went to it. It was, a, it was, whoa, whoa, it was a good guitar. Oh, diddle is a Anyway, I finally got one and tried to play it and was getting nowhere and saw Tom Rush when he was doing his promotional tour for one of his first records. And um, he played some songs in uh, open tunings. Because instead of making an E chord, I tuned the guitar up so that it's making the E chord without me touching it. I went, all right, went to the barracks and tuned my guitar to open E and that was 1966. Once I know what these notes are when I fret this E string, I want to make an A chord. Well, watch. Here's an A note, E, F, G, A. Here's an A chord. I want to make a B chord. I want to make a C chord. I want to make a D chord. Now, I've learned, I know, all I have to know about the guitar is the names of the notes on this string. This string is the same note as the chord. Yeah, boy, is a gun sling And taught myself. Ah, uh, basically the theory of music and open tunings. Uh, open A, open G, open D, open E, and their minor equivalents. And I've gotten to the point where I've been doing this since 1966. That's uh, 43 years. I've written a book, and I have a two-hour companion DVD that explains the basic theory of open tunings, string relationships, and various styles. It's about Bo Diddley at the OK Corral. I also build guitars. I've evolved into building guitars. I built this guitar. He had a gun. This was probably the fourth in the series. The one I play is the first. And uh, anyway, we're still uh, perfecting sound. And uh, these guitars are completely synthetic. They will not change uh, when they get the right neck on them <laughs> due to heat, moisture, humidity, or even rough handling. Uh, they have a lot of potential. Building one of these is a lot of work. Just like a wooden guitar, only add the idea that it's a large piece of jewelry. <laughs> I showed uh, one of these to a fellow in Cottonwood. Uh, I brought a repair back and I brought one of my guitars and I showed it to him and he played it for about 10 minutes and wrote me a check for $1,500. Well, oh boy, did it didn't stand no mess. The more you're taught on how something is done and how you're supposed to do it, the more doors are shut to how it could be done. And the pioneers of guitar and other areas of life broke those rules. They don't pay attention to those things. That's how come slide guitar is invented and uh, open tunings and uh, all kinds of stuff. <laughs>